I've been using the iPad Pro 11 inch second generation for a little over a year now and I want to tell you guys why I love it so much. Practical uses day to day, especially if you've had an iPad in the past and you've gotten rid of it. I'm going to show you guys how this thing has stayed in my hands every single day since buying it almost a year and a half ago. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right guys, so after a year and a half of owning the iPad Pro 11 inch second generation version, I have fallen in love with tablets and iPads in general. I've been looking at iPad minis, I've been looking at iPad Airs. The more the better, honestly, and I originally bought this to expedite social media content creation, particularly photos and quick little workout videos because I do have a fitness Instagram RIP. It literally got taken down last Thursday. We're not gonna talk about it, all right? All you need to know is that after three years of posting every single day sometimes twice a day on Instagram on my fitness page everything is gone I'm trying to get it back but maybe it's a sign that it's time to start over fresh and start to incorporate the tech lift ecosystem over on Instagram anyways back into it I originally bought it for that content creation and I've literally used it every single day since then to edit photos to edit quick little workout snippets upload stories to Instagram I wanted literally all my Instagram workflow on this one machine aka the iPad and it's literally done that since then now aside of that it's literally been my everyday go-to machine for information for productivity and on top of that entertainment I've taken this thing on many trips to a couple different states even a whole nother country and it's withstood the test of time so right off the bat you guys are probably wondering what the heck is that on your thing I have a D brand skin on this I went with a pastel line I went with pink white camera plate and then teal siding I would just wanted something super funky and creative that really got my creative juices flowing especially with a creative tool like the iPad Pro and that's exactly what this thing did to me and I honestly Honestly, love picking it up and grabbing it and using it a whole lot more since I added this to it I added it to it probably within a month of getting it now on top of that I do have the Apple pencil I believe this is the second generation this is the newest Apple pencil that's out and I absolutely love this I prefer this over the first one that's out snaps right on there and like I mentioned earlier I got this for fitness creation content type things so with that being said I do take this with me to work out I throw it in my little bag or whatever it is but since I work out at home now I just literally just take it a couple steps to the garage and get to go and with that being said chalk you know tape thumb tape residue and weights being thrown around are not good especially if you have technology that's made out of glass and bendable metal so with that I had to go with a case now this case is from spec it's one of their folding iPad pros but literally it's been so rugged and helpful and it literally folds over like so adjustable different ways even adjustable like that to stand or to lay it down and type it's been so awesome it even has a little camera cover slash uncover and as you guys can tell I have stickered this bad boy out just to make it more me and just really again back to the whole creativity inspiration thing it's exactly what the case and the whole iPad itself has done for me now with that out of the way this thing gets work done it is super fast I will say that I've been editing videos on the iMovie app on this I haven't tried Luma Fusion but also apps like Mojo for Instagram story creation different graphics templates all those sorts of things has been absolutely amazing and I have been editing 4k footage 1080p from my GoPro from my camera and for some reason GoPro footage is kind of sketchy what? at times and on the iPad it's held up super good like I said super powerful and fast and this isn't even the M1 version it has been a literally just just such a powerful creative tool I take this with me on trips to edit quick Instagram photos like I said in content creation this thing is a beast for that now moving over to the productivity side of things apps like notion Apple notes Microsoft OneNote work insanely well and pair the Apple pencil and note taking and you have yourself just such a brain emptier that's what I like to call it because literally any ideas or sketches or anything like that you can literally dump them onto your iPad now on top of drawing and things like that apps like procreate are amazing to draw sketch make thumbnails different things like that I haven't mastered it yet but I have used it for certain things my preferred note-taking app is Microsoft OneNote just because it syncs over to my PC on top of that it's on my Mac and on this and it syncs through all three devices even my iPhone and it has been amazing for visually planning things out I recently built out my whole garage gym and an outdoor gym in my backyard and with the help of the Apple pencil the iPad and the iPad 
had camera and Microsoft OneNote. I was literally able to get whatever I had out of my head onto the iPad, draw it out, take a photo of what it currently looked like, draw out certain things. And it has just been so crazy to me that I could literally take what was in my head onto the iPad and then turn it into real life. And it was literally pretty stinking spot on. So that thing has been amazing. Now moving over to productivity, whenever I need to take notes, whenever I'm like on a phone call or a meeting and I need to jot down notes, key takeaways, this thing's perfect. Literally, it's always right by me. Take down some notes, etc. good to go. And then do like the, the crucial tasks that I need to do from those meetings or that phone call. On top of that, if I'm learning a new skill, maybe scripting a video for YouTube, maybe I'm watching a YouTube video for information, I like to jot down notes. And depending on whether it's for YouTube videos, for work, or studying a certain topic, I have different notebooks in the app that allows me to do all that. And what helps me stay organized is Apple Calendar, Apple Notes, and Notion. So Notion helps me just plan my day to day. It even has a little content calendar that helps me stay organized, different little tasks that I need to do for the day. And I sort them by idea, doing, and completed. And I also have like a little check off daily tasks, random things like take my car to get an oil change, check status on a refund, check status of a YouTube video, different things like that. And I kind of just cross them off. It just helps my brain stay less full and literally being able to see it and physically cross it off on the iPad or my Mac is super awesome. Apple Notes just kind of lets me get whatever's in my head real quick onto the cloud in the notes. And then from there, I can organize it either in my calendar or Notion straight on the iPad whenever I have time and I'm not in the Rush. Apple Calendar is something that I've started using in the last two months a whole lot more just because my life has kind of been crazy hectic and I'm trying to get a lot more structured and literally the last two months I've been using it to kind of see different crucial events that are coming up whether I can do something on a certain day whether I can take a trip on the weekend different things like that and it helps me just get a visual like hey you have two things to do that day so block that whole day out no distractions type deal and uh, that's been freaking awesome for that and being able to see it nice and big on this bad boy is awesome or even use it like a as a second display using sidecar for my Mac has been really cool. But even if I just want to throw up my calendar on this and then continue to work on my computer, this is super awesome for that. Not to mention music such as Spotify, again, second display without even having to use sidecar, just pop it up and listen to music on the AirPods or even through this because the speakers on this bad boy are insanely good. Now this isn't like a spec review. I'm just telling you guys what I use it for. And that is one of the main things, the speakers on this thing are insanely loud so this is perfect for popping up some lo-fi beats some study music or honestly just some wind down at the end of the day bangers on top of being productive I use this thing to work out every single day so that means this thing kind of does get dirty on the screen I do have a paper like knockoff screen protector on this bad boy that I got from Amazon paper like was freaking lagging on their stock so I literally just opted for the Amazon one and I ended up getting a good deal and honestly it's still the same screen protector that I bought on day one and it still looks amazing feels amazing and I don't plan on getting a new one anytime soon but I get chalk on this like thumb tape adhesive residue on here and with just a quick little wipe it's good to go and good as new because I'm kind of crazy when it comes to things like that but basically this thing turns into my workout timer whether I'm doing a Tabata whether I'm doing an AMRAP whether I'm doing a for time workout I use an app called Wad Timer and it literally just becomes a huge clock that helps me with my workouts I also listen to my music through the iPad because I film with either my camera or my phone while I'm working out and on top of that I like to throw on my workout program on this nice big 11 inch screen as to compare to my phone where you have to zoom in pinch and it's just not fun so this is just a whole lot easier it's kind of like the workout like station with the clock with the music and the workout program pulled up when all that's over I go ahead and chop up a couple videos for Instagram a photo for Instagram and then I throw on some entertainment while I eat my post-workout meal that either consists of some YouTube videos FaceTime call either my girlfriend or some friends and sometimes just the occasional scrolling through Twitter, kind of catching up on notifications because I've gotten into Twitter a whole lot recently. And once work and all that sort of thing is done off this thing, this is awesome because I can finally just relax and chill with it. I can either watch Netflix, catch up on some YouTube videos, watch Peacock, watch some Yellowstone, Amazon Prime Video for Vikings, different things like that. The nice big screen is awesome. It's not overly big, but it's not overly small. It's just the right size. The 12 inch one was just going to be a little too big for me. The 11 inch, perfect. It's almost the size 
of a notebook. And like I said, for entertainment, flip it landscape and you can watch your favorite shows. Me and my girlfriend love to use this whenever we're just chilling on the bed, watching a couple shows that we're catching up on. Or if we go on a trip, we can take this with us and literally just chill on the couch or the bed and log into all our things and watch a show. Now on top of that, we have gone camping and we've kind of done random little picnic hike things to where we kind of just chill. We download a couple movies onto the iPad and we take this with us. So even though we don't have service or Wi-Fi, we can still kind of relax, chill and watch a movie or watch a show. It just It's just a whole vibe, you know? So overall, the iPad Pro 11 inch second generation has been one of the best things I've bought and I've been so excited about this thing. I've been raving and ranting to all my friends about this to get one. Now, I was the guy who bought an iPad in the past a couple years ago as an iPad mini. I forget what generation and I ended up returning it because I barely ever used it. Didn't really see much need for it. I ended up giving it away, I think, to one of my family members. But ever since I got this, it has been in my hands every single day. The only times that I don't use it are whenever I leave far on a trip and even then it's with me. I just don't use it because I'm doing other things. So this thing is an amazing work tool amazing productivity tool and an awesome entertainment tool. I'm literally about to go eat dinner and I'm going to throw on a YouTube video and watch it while I eat off of the iPad Pro here. I absolutely love this thing, guys. Get your creative juices flowing. Get your productivity on and entertainment on with this bad boy. Overall, this thing is a beast and just the iPads in general are an amazing tool. I would prefer an iPad Pro over the other models just because it just fits more of my lifestyle, but I honestly just love the whole iPad lineup. The goal of this video is just to show you guys that these things are useful they're not like they used to be they kind of just lay around you actually get use out of them or at least I have and I wanted to hopefully inspire you guys to maybe pick one of these up to make your life a little bit easier more creative more fun and also productive at the same time so with that being said guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys more videos to come let me know if you guys want more videos on the iPad full iPad series of videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one tech lift out